Oh no. It's so close. Something that a lot of people don't know about Texas is that it has a very large and vibrant wine country. Yes, Texas is a wine producer, but the question is, how good is Texas wine? So today I'm going to investigate that because I'm heading down to the home of wine in Waco, Texas, Segovia Wine Bar, where we're going to do a blind testing as we pit Texas against the wine powerhouse, Spain. I'm not doing this alone though, because while I like wine, we need an expert. And this is Courtney, the co-owner and sommelier of Segovia Wine Bar. And she selected some wines to make this interesting. <laughs> so when it comes to our wine tastings, like our Versus series that we're gonna have on March 28th, we like to start with our lightest wines and then we move to our fuller body wines. I think I'm gonna start with the full, okay, I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> is this really a fair fight? I certainly think it's a fair fight, just depending upon the wines that we chose. They're both Tempranillos, they're both grown in similar elevations and similar soils. So there's a decently fair chance between the two of them, but it's also dependent upon what you like. So we'll see. <laughs> Round one, fight. So my dear, I'm gonna teach you how to hold your glass properly. Oh. Wow, <laughs> flex right there, okay. <laughs> Yum, that's very good. Nice, very balanced. Ooh, that's a goodie. So that was A. I'll hold the glass properly and not get told off anymore. I know, you Brits are all about bringing pop proper. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, much more flavor forward, sweeter. I'm willing to, okay. I can even bet, okay. I'm gonna say the one that I liked the best was A, but I'm gonna bet that A was Spain, B was Texas. Correct. Yeah, there we go, bing. Where well, Spain, you got this one. We've got two more rounds to go. No peeking. Okay, no peeking. <laughs> what is this contraption? So this funky little device here is called a Coravin. And what it does, it, it punctures the cork with a little needle and it allows argon gas to kind of sit on top of the wine without letting oxygen come in contact with the wine too much. So that way we can keep it preserved and pour just a small amount, just enough. And you can keep the cork in? You can keep it in. Oh, that's cool. Round two, fight. Even just much lighter color for A. I'm like my darker wines, as you can see here with B, but it's all in the taste, isn't it? Mmm, kind of smooth, little dryness at the end. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna say actually pretty close, pretty comparable, both really good drinks. I'm gonna go with the fact that this one just tastes a little bit younger is the only way that I'm going to go with that one. So I'm gonna say that my favorite, very close, very close, but I'm gonna go with my favorite was actually B. Really? Yes. Okay. But I would have said that that was Texas, that was Spain. Am I correct? You are correct. I'm correct. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say this was really close. I, I enjoyed, these are both really good drinks. They're fantastic wines. Final round, fight. These are both Tempranillos. They look exactly the same. That's exactly what I want in a wine, right there. Okay, this is B. Oh no. It's so close, like razor thin, basically the same, but I'm gonna say the one that I just ever so slightly, I found just that tiny bit more drinkable was A. But I'm gonna say that Spain was B. Wait, so wait, Spain was A? Spain was A, this is Texas. Okay, really? Okay, That's well, Texas. it's technically 3-0 to Spain, but especially in round three, that and that are very, very similar. What's the price difference? Like, yeah, $10 difference. $10 yeah. difference, all right. Okay, so Texas, you may have lost round three, but I tell you what, that's a moral victory because your $10 is cheap. Something to bear in mind is that Spain has been making wine for centuries and Texas is pretty new to this. It's been a couple of decades, but the fact that you can have a Tempranillo that is that good next to something from Spain really goes to show that Texas can compete. And that's what we're gonna be doing. In fact, on the 28th of March, these are some of the wines we're going to be tasting right here at Segovia. So if you wanna come down, have some food, have some wine and say hello to me. Mm. You know where to find me.